What's up everybody, this is Daydreams, thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, please tell your Alliance members about the channel. We do streams, we do videos, we do giveaways, and it's going to make them a better player. I promise you, if there's anything that you can take away from this channel, there's not one person who's never learned something from the channel. And it doesn't even matter if they're like the most expert player of all time, they've at least seen a sneak peek or something, and we're able to at least plan ahead of time, um, you know, for what they're going to do when the new things come out. So... I like to show you guys the new things that are coming into the game. Um, now, I haven't done a sneak peek from beta in a while, but maybe I'm going to start doing those more frequently. Um, I forgot to upgrade my Ancient Dragon Tower. I've been really lazy this weekend, just been enjoying the weekend. But um, there's something to do with the dragon that came out, and that is the Dragon Science, which is you've seen in the thumbnail in the title of the video. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at it. It's called Dragon Occult. Um, by the way, guys, you've been asking me about the hero. When I do know something about the hero, let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. When I do know something about the hero right here, I will tell you. Um, once it gets released in the beta, I can show you everything about it. Of course, we already know about the dragon, and you've been asking about the blue dragon as well. I don't know enough about it yet to make a video. As soon as I do, I'm actually doing my research after this, and I will let you guys know about the dragon, and then hopefully the hero as soon as possible. So, let's take a look at the dragon occult and see if it's important to get or what. So... Before I get into it, let me tell you one of the things I dislike about it. It takes research stones, which I could understand if some of the stuff at the bottom, like some of the stuff that's like, you know, maybe um, like stronger stuff took research stones, but the stuff at the top shouldn't take research stones. You should let everybody at least get some research for free. Um, but that's just one of my complaints so far. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything. Go travel one. Reduce the bond lower limit for the dragon travel so uh, that's good it'll release it so it's right now it's at 50 percent, i believe so i already released it two percent down to 48 percent. i think next it'll be down to um what 46 percent okay um this one's called hello dragon increase the bond gained from a greet so every time you greet the dragon it'll increase the bond i think right now it's like five next it'll be six so that's cool close friend um increase the bond gained from a pet so i think Let's go check all this stuff before we get into it so we know. Let's see what it says. Did I just get a minus one? So a pet gives you um, 24, praise 20, then 5, and I think 7. So now you guys know. So as I go through it, you know exactly what it's going to be giving you. Plus I already did some science, so mine gets a little bit more. Okay, smooth talker. Whoa. Increase the bond gained from a praise. Okay, so it's going to increase it by two. Dragon Whisper. Increase the bond gain from chat. So, um, this all is not going to increase. Here's the thing with the dragon, though, and all this research. It's great and all, but if you're someone like me that don't have a lot of research stones, I would personally be rather putting mine into the elite troops and getting stuff like War Maniac. I don't even have War Maniac done yet. I do on my old castle, but I had one done on my old castle, but I got none done here. So, I really am trying to get research stones. Um, when I do spend money, it will be on research stones. So, flight together. Reduce the dragon bond consumption for battle. So, whenever you battle, it takes some of the dragon bond away. Um, so, next level, it will decrease it by 1%. Dragon roar. Increase the dragon's attack. So, that's a pretty big deal. Um, to increase, make the dragon stronger. 1% stronger. That's probably the most important one I've seen so far, especially if they come out with like this blue dragon and it's a lot stronger. It's going to be pretty important. Increase the critical damage of the dragon. So, blood seeker is very important. Increases the critical uh, hit of the dragon. So, if if you re if I was going to like tell you my my whole thing on this, I would just get the first ones done of each and come down and try to get the dragon roar, blood seeker, and then burning heat. Increase the chance. To make critical strike for the dragon so that's two percent and one percent it's gonna make it um you know critical damage and critical strike it's gonna make your dragon stronger so let's see steady friendship reduce the decreasing rate of the bond um that's something i would like because i'm sick of my dragon going down to zero and i don't have enough stones everyone keeps telling me if you upgrade your dragon it's going to i don't have stones and i can't send my dragon out to travel to get stones so they need to start giving stones when you hit monsters or something it's really driving me nuts so hopefully whatever they were coming out with to help it comes out soon reduce the cd time of the greet okay that's fast cooldown 
Reduce the CD time of the pet. CD time of praise. And reduce the CD time of chat. So you can see first fast cooldown chat, praise, pet, and greet. Okay, here's grow travel too. So it's the second level of the one we seen earlier. Reduce the bond with lower limit of the dragon travel. Hello dragon too. Same thing. So that does the same thing as the first ones guys. It's the same as these. So, um, friend, talker, whisper, and hello dragon. Flight together, same thing as up there. So this is all just the second one, Bloodseeker. Okay, so, so far guys, Dragon Roar 1 and 2 are the most important. Bloodseeker 1 and 2 are the second most important. And um, Burning Heat 1 and 2 are the third most important. I would get those done. Let's see what Steady Friendship 2 does. Incre yeah, decrease the bond rate, that helps, but top up the bond with your current dragon okay so top up the bond with your current dragon so I think um, it'll just like keep it keep it full maybe it's 9,000 research stems just to put that into perspective for you that's $500 in research stem packs so for one science I don't know about that one um as you guys can see my military is all maxed out I've got all my military maxed out oh I'm going to get my cartography up. And I've got two more levels on recruitment three I need to do. Um, okay. What do I want to do? I wanted to show you guys something else. So, as far as research things are con concerned, guys. Of course, advanced military is important. That's where you get your six march. Commander it increases your march size. You do not need the research things for this stuff, guys. So, get that done. Um, I'm always focusing on what you can do as a... As a player that only has farms and um, you can't spend a bunch of money, get your military science maxed, get your advanced military science maxed. Um, medical treatment is great and all, but you do need uh, you do need research stints for it, which is really disappointing. Um, like I said, the the first tier should at least be without research stints. Maybe if you want to get second tier science to be a max castle, you can pay extra, but that it just annoys me so much. So. Um, elite troops Right there's three percent attack. I don't have that my enemies do have um, And then massacre here kill a percentage of winter troops when hitting their castles, so you're gonna be able to kill Three percent of someone's troops um, and then there's something I forget what it's called where a certain amount of the troops go That go to the hospital it kills them and I really hate that kill a percentage of the wounded soldiers in battle when attacking castles. Yeah, so like say 10,000 troops went to the hospital 300 of your troops would just die instead of going to the hospital, which is highly highly annoying it's something I'm not a fan of um, I know this is about the dragon But increased the damage caused by cavalry. So all this stuff is so important to get these maxed out um, Accelerate so war maniac Troop formation, iron cavalry, longbow, and city assault are so important, and I'm not able to get them done. So that's a maniac to massacre. Rally assault, learnable skill. Rally assault after your troops use the skill. You rally troops. I think you can like automatically speed up a rally. So if you set a 30 minute rally and it gets full in two minutes, you can send it off after two minutes. So that's basically the rundown on this new science, guys. I try to show you everything that comes into the game. Um, we'll have a little bit more exciting videos later in the week. Of course, the dragon campaign. And, um, yeah, a couple of you have given me permission to come to your kingdoms, uh, and use your castles to attack stuff, and you want me to make videos, and you want me to bully the bullies in your kingdom, so I'm willing to do that for you guys to make a fun video. Um, I will pour it in their hive, and I will smack them around a little bit, give them a good branding, and by branding I mean mushroom stamp right on the forehead, and it should be a good time, so that'll be coming out later this week as well. Um, I'm just gaining resources, guys. I'm pushing members of my alliance. Um, I've got a ton of resources I stole on top of the resources I already had. I have a ton of resources I stole from that other kingdom. So I'm going to be giving them to people. I'm going to be trying to push all these 28s and 29s level 30. Um, there's absolutely no reason everyone in the alliance, should, most people are level 30 or higher. But there's absolutely no reason that everybody shouldn't be level 30 or higher. Because, um, you know, we're a year and a half into this. To put that into perspective, I was a level 30... Um, not quite a year ago we're not quite a year and a half into this we're about a year and like four months into this but i was um i would say in december 
when did Bowsy's video come out? Someone could go check and let me know in the comment section, or I will after this. But I was a uh, level 30. I was the first level 30, actually. But yeah, about December last year, maybe. So yeah, 10 months or what, 14 months ago or something? I don't know. My math's really messed up right now. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm doing daily Clash Royale tournaments if any of you play Clash Royale. Um, and thank you to those of you who don't even play Clash Royale, but you still leave a like on the videos. Um, if you don't want to do that and be nice to me, just don't even watch them. Don't give it a dislike just because you don't like the game. Be an adult. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Remember the teamwork makes dreams work. Smash the thumbs up button. Share this with your alliance. Share this with your kingdom. Make your kingdom stronger. Guys, I'm telling you, if you share this with a couple people, you're going to make your clan alliance stronger. So, when you have a, a place where you can go and there's 200 videos that can teach all castle levels everything about this game, every one of your alliance members should be subscribed to the channel. I'm not just saying this to get subscribers. Yeah, that's a big part of it. But, I do want to better you guys and I want your alliances to be better. And... Just know that the other side are doing everything that they can to beat you at the game. They're botting farms, they're buying illegal resources, they're doing everything they can. So, you should have every one of your members come to the channel. They don't have to subscribe, just have them watch the videos. And it will help them a lot, and it will help you a lot. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later tonight. Peace.